In this lesson, we are going to learn about the applications of elasticity in daily life, such as at home, in sports, in transportation, and for fun leisure activities. Forces can stretch a spring. They cause the string's extension. Forces can compress a spring. They cause the spring's compression. When the forces are removed, the spring returns to its original shape. It is elastic. The elastic property of these objects or material makes them very useful in various aspects of everyday life. Look at the video again. Can you identify the elastic object being used in all the situations? Can you see how the elastic property of some objects is being used in the home? Name the elastic objects. The rubber band is elastic. Although it can't be seen, there is a spring in the weighing scale that is also elastic. Another bag of the same weight is added to the weighing scale. We can see that the reading doubles. What happens when a load is applied to the spring in the weighing machine? Notice the compression on the spring. What happens to the compression of the spring when the load is doubled? There is a law of physics that explains what you have just seen. Can you use the law to explain your observation? We know that springs obey Hooke's law. This means the compression of the spring is proportional to the load on the spring. The larger the load on the spring, the bigger the compression of the spring. The spring is attached to a pointer that enables the weight of the load to be determined. The larger the load, the bigger the deflection of the pointer. In this way, the spring's elasticity makes it possible to measure weight. Many sporting activities rely on the elastic nature of objects, for example, tennis game. Can you tell how elasticity is being used to play this game? Observe closely what happens when the ball is hit. The ball flattens slightly and the gut on the racket is slightly stretched. What do you think will happen next? The tennis ball is elastic. The gut on the racket is also elastic. They will spring back into shape and cause the ball to launch off in the opposite direction. Archery is another sport made possible by elasticity. Observe the video carefully. Can you tell where the elastic property of matter is taking effect? What kind of energy exchange is taking place? The bow and its string are elastic. They stretch when pulled by the archer springing back into shape when released. This causes the arrow to move forward. The work done by the archer is stored as elastic potential energy in the bow and the string, and then converted into the kinetic energy of the arrow. Pole vaulting and springboard diving are two other sports that rely on elasticity. Can you explain this?
both the pole and the springboard are elastic. When they spring back into shape, the athletes are catapulted into action. Work is done to bend the pole and the springboard by the athletes. This is then stored as elastic potential energy in the pole and in the springboard. This potential energy is then converted into the kinetic energy of the athletes. Other than making many sporting activities possible, elasticity is also used to make athletes faster. Look at the video of various athletes. They are all participating in different kinds of sporting activity that require speed. What is similar about these athletes? Can you see how elasticity helps make them faster? These athletes are all wearing clothes made out of elastic fabric. This allows their clothing to stretch and fit them closely. In this way, drag caused by wind or water resistance is reduced. In all forms of transportation, the ride is made more comfortable by the elastic nature of cushions in the vehicle. An elastic spring suspension system also makes the ride less bumpy. An aircraft carrier is like a floating city. It's one of the most complex machines ever built by man. The flight deck of an aircraft carrier is at the topmost level. It is like an extremely busy airport with fighter jets taking off and landing all the time. The problem is, it has to be done in very limited space. Elasticity can help overcome the problem of space in the launching and landing of the jets. We know that gases can be compressed and when released, these gases will spring back to fill a larger space. The elastic nature of gases is used to launch fighter jets from an aircraft carrier. Fighter jets normally need half a kilometer of runway off. On an aircraft carrier, the jets have to take off in less than 150 meters of runway or they will fall into the sea. They need to speed up very quickly. This is done using a high-pressure steam-powered catapult. The steam-driven catapult and the jet's own thrust will provide enough speed in a short time for the jet to lift off. Landing a fighter jet on a carrier is extremely difficult because of the short space. Elasticity, once again, is used to overcome this problem. Four arresting wires are stretched across the deck. These wires are slightly elastic steel cables. Each jet has a tail hook that is used to snag one of the arresting wires as the jet lands. The wire then stops the jet in a short distance. Let's watch the landing of a jet. The video shows bumper cars in an amusement park. The people in the cars are enjoying themselves, knocking into each other's cars. Could they do this with regular cars on the highway? Can you see how elasticity is being applied here? The bumpers of these cars are made out of highly elastic rubber. The bumpers are compressed momentarily on collision, springing back into shape and pushing the cars apart. They do not crush like the bumpers of regular cars. Can you think why the bumpers of regular cars are not made in the same way? Regular cars.
cars travel at much higher speeds than bumper cars. Extremely elastic bumpers would do far more harm than good in a collision. Normal cars have bumpers with a small degree of elasticity designed to withstand small knocks. In major collisions, however, bumpers are designed to crumple so collision time is prolonged and the impact force is reduced. The video shows a bungee jumper. Can you tell how elasticity is used in this activity? Discuss also the effect of elasticity of the stopping force of the cord onto the jumper. What kinds of energy exchanges are taking place between the jumper and the cord? The bungee cord is made out of elastic material. This allows the jumper's stopping time to be extended and the stopping force to be reduced. As he falls, the jumper's gravitational potential energy is slowly becoming kinetic energy. This kinetic energy stretches the cord at the end of the fall and is stored as elastic potential energy in the cord. The cord's energy is then converted back into the kinetic energy of the jumper. You are looking at the latest fun ride in Kuala Lumpur, known as the G-Force X. It is located at the Manara Kuala Lumpur. It is actually a reverse bungee ride. Instead of falling downward, you are propelled upwards by two elastic ropes at accelerations five times that of gravity. The passenger car is supported by two elastic ropes and held down by an electromagnet. The ropes are then stretched by the two towers. When the electromagnet is switched off, the passenger car is catapulted vertically at very high speeds. At the very top, passengers will experience weightlessness for a short time. The passenger car will rotate between the two ropes, giving the passengers a disorienting, chaotic ride. After a few bounces, the ropes are relaxed and the passenger car is lowered back to launch position. The concept of elasticity is applied in daily life, whether at home, in sports, recreational activities and leisure activities or in transportation.